Uh, hi, thank you. Um, um, I'll be going through and describing uh, a chariot in just uh, a little detail, but what I'd like to do is to bring your attention to this. I will be making forward-looking statements, and this sets the context for those statements. Um, it's quite likely that most of you know of chariot in this room as an Atlantic margins explorer, and we've been hunting for giant oil fields over the last 10 years. We have assets in Morocco, Brazil, and Namibia, uh, last year, we participated in two big deep water wells, uh, one which was fully carried in Morocco that was operated by E&I, and the other, uh, which we operated in Namibia, which set a whole series of new benchmarks for deep water drilling in, in West Africa. Uh, the well that we drilled was at half the cost of the next cheapest well within, uh, within uh, West Africa. Uh, these wells didn't find the giants that we had hoped for, but uh, what it did do was allowed us to investigate the hydrocarbons that we encountered in Morocco, and this led us to discovered resources in a new license within that country, which, uh, which I'll touch on. But firstly, what I'd like to do is to pass over to a, a video overview of that license and of our portfolio. Chariot is a London Stock Exchange listed oil and gas exploration and development business. Our focus is on the offshore frontier regions of the Atlantic margin, where we aim to access, de-risk and discover material accumulations of hydrocarbons. We have identified over 5 billion barrels of gross mean prospective resources offshore Morocco, Brazil and Namibia. Through substantial 3D seismic surveys, the latest technology and our regional expertise. In addition to our high-impact exploration, we also have a low-risk, high-value gas development project in the Lixus license, offshore Morocco. The Lixus license covers an area of over 2,000 square kilometers, with water depths of up to 850 meters. This license already has over 1,400 square kilometers of 3D seismic data and four wells drilled, one of which, Anshua 1, contains a material gas discovery containing 55 meters of net pay in high porosity reservoirs, giving a total remaining recoverable resource of almost half a TCF. Close to the Anshua discovery, there are further low-risk satellite prospects identified by their anomalous seismic signature. An independent, competent person's report estimates that Anshua and its satellites combined have a total recoverable resource in excess of one TCF. Elsewhere in the license, there are a series of further prospects in similar geological settings to Anshua. The company estimates these prospects to have 2U prospective resources ranging up to 330 BCF each. Chariot is now in the process of planning and progressing this gas development. We anticipate this to be a standard and simple development with the Anshua Discovery located only 40 kilometers from shore and the Moroccan gas market. And with the excellent quality reservoirs in the Anshua Discovery offering the potential for high rate gas wells. The further satellite prospects can be tied back into the existing Anshua infrastructure, adding further material running room, making this a low cost and highly economic project. Our development is further supported by exceptional commercial contract terms. Morocco is gas hungry, with high gas prices in a rapidly developing market, with energy demand forecast to double by 2030. In addition, our Lixus license, with its close proximity to the Maghreb Europe pipeline which connects to Spain, also provides a potential route into the European gas market. Lixus is just part of our broader high-impact exploration portfolio. The Mohammedia and Kenitra permits are located in close proximity to historic onshore oil production, current onshore gas production and oil and gas condensate discoveries in both the offshore and onshore. Following drilling results in 2018, Chariot has identified the potential for a rediscovered petroleum system within these permits, which have a drill-ready prospect inventory of over 2.6 billion barrels of gross mean prospective resource. In Brazil, Chariot operates four licenses within the Baririnhas Basin. Within this, Chariot has identified over 1.4 billion barrels of gross mean prospective resources in its drill-ready prospect inventory. 
These include a variety of structural, combination, and stratigraphic closures. In Namibia, Chariot operates the central blocks which sit within the Wolvis Basin and span a vast 16,800 square kilometers. Over the last decade, deep water drilling in this region has demonstrated that all the elements required for a material oil accumulation are present. And within our drill-ready inventory, we've identified over 1 billion barrels of gross mean prospective resource. Chariot has built a diverse portfolio whereby all of its assets contain a variety of play types, exploration maturity and significant running room. We are focused on the early monetization of discoveries to deliver transformational value to shareholders. We are excited by our journey ahead and we hope you will join us. Uh, so what I'd like to do now is just to give a, a little more detail on, uh, on Lixus and the Lixus license. Uh, this license has now been effective for uh, 151 days and in that period, we've now issued three CPRs, uh, one on Anshua, which is the orange blob on the map on the right-hand side, a second on the, uh, and, and that's uh, 423 BCF of um, uh, contingent, uh, uh, 2C, 2U uh, contingent resources, 70 million barrels of oil equivalent. Uh, then there's um, uh, Anshua and the satellites, uh, a TCF of uh, resource, 170 million barrels of oil, oil equivalent. And then there's the remainder of the potential on the block. So the, old, the whole block recoverable uh, resource is 2.2 TCF, 370 million barrels of oil equivalent. Very low risk prospects that sit in uh, very similar geological settings as the Anshua discovery. Also in that 151 day period, we've commissioned and completed a development feasibility study on, uh, on Anshua which is technically, uh, technically feasible. It's in um, uh, low water depths, normal pressures and temperatures, and has sales quality gas, so excellent quality, and can be developed using off-the-shelf technology. And we've also commissioned and completed a gas market study on both Morocco and on the Iberian Peninsula, uh, growing uh, energy demand, growing um, ex, um, uh, electricity demand, uh, and excellent uh, gas prices within the region. The combination of the feasibility study and the gas market demonstrate this is a very commercially attractive project. In terms of the route to funding, which is our focus, uh, we have uh, four streams that we're progressing. The upstream, upstream partnering process, uh, which is progressing uh, very well, and that's a data room that's open. Uh, through which we've had super majors all the way down through to uh, private, uh, uh, private equity-backed uh, companies. We've got uh, discussions going on with two uh, midstream downstream strategic alliances. Uh, these two consortia have the potential to participate in the project uh, at a, an equity level, a debt level, but also in uh, developing um, the, uh, the infrastructure. We've uh, initiated uh, discussions with gas off-takers both in Spain, the three principal gas off-takers there, and also in Morocco with the uh, state electricity company. And uh, uh, we have initiated um, discussions with finance providers, and those discussions are with multilateral lending agencies, uh, project finance, um, reserve-based uh, lending finance, um, um, and um, Nordic bonds and a variety of, of other agencies. And so we're progressing all these, these four different swim streams to uh, 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 facilitate the potential for first gas from this project in 2023. In terms of the, uh, the feasibility study, this is the description, and our focus has been on the proven, probable, and possible resources that have been demonstrated from the, the CPR. The proven and the probable, uh, just slightly more than 300 BCF, that has the capacity to deliver 70 million cubic feet a day for 10 years, that's 12,000 barrels of oil equivalent. With the prevalent gas price, uh, prices in the country, that generates uh, $204 million of revenue per annum. Uh, the 10 years is an important period because the first 10 years in uh, Morocco, any production is tax-free. So that $204 million of potential revenue would be a revenue stream that wouldn't be taxed. Um, so if you would like to know any more about the Lixus license, any of the rest of our portfolio or our plans going forward, then 
please, by all means, do either catch myself, Larry Bottomley, or Julian Morris-Williams, uh, and we'll be around during the course of the conference. And um, we've taken residence in meeting space four, which is just behind where the, the food area is. Thank you.